So I've gotten a lot of messages from people that are traveling soon to Tanzania. They're traveling soon to South Africa. And they had a couple questions. A couple months ago, I did a video on the South African visas explained, and I had full intention on doing one about Tanzania, but I didn't. So here it is. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about my experience moving, living, and doing business here on the continent. I share my experience of love, motherhood, and entrepreneurship. But in this video, I'm just going to talk specifically about Tanzania travel visa explained for US citizens, right? So I can't speak for anybody else because this was my process. I am not an immigration uh, person, consultant, attorney. I'm not even a legal representative of Tanzania, but I've gotten a lot of questions. So I just want to tell you what my experience is, was, and my recommendation so that you have the best travel experience to Tanzania possible. So if that is helpful for you, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with the rest of the people that you're traveling with or other people that you think would find value in it as well. So first things first, as a US citizen, you can today legally travel to Tanzania with uh, your passport only. You don't need to pre-apply for a visa if you are coming to travel as a tourist. You can come, get your visa upon arrival for 100 US dollars. So let's break that down. You're coming to Tanzania to explore, even for those that are doing discovery trips. So I talk to a lot of families that have an interest in moving, but they wanna test it out for a little while. That is called tourism. That's called touring the country. So based on those intentions, you come to Tanzania with your passport and when you get to immigration, you let them know, I am coming to tour the country for how many ever days. That visa, that travel visa is 100 US dollars. I recommend that people get $100 bills for every person in your family that is acquiring said visa. Yes, they accept cards, but your experience will be much better there's likely to be less of a line if you have that crispy 100 US dollar bill, okay? So that will help your process, that will help your experience. And for that $100, you will likely get, I say likely because things change every day, so please do your research. You will likely get a multiple entry visa that will allow you to, to experience Tanzania for one year, 90 days at a time three months at a time. So you are coming to experience the country, you're coming to travel, you wanna test it out for two months, go back to the US, come back, say, you know what, I really like this, maybe I wanna start a business, come back to Tanzania for 90 days, go back to the US, you can do that with this uh, multiple entry visa for that $100. After a year, you will then have to apply for another multiple entry visa at the same price. Okay, so that's it. If you happen to be in the country for longer than that 90 days or you see that you may be, you can go to immigration and apply for an extension. It is free, but it is also not guaranteed and it is at the discretion of the officer to extend that visa based on how they see fit, right? And so um, you can also, you know, if while you're in the country, you decide, hey, I have an interest in maybe studying here or volunteering for an organization or starting a business, you can also visit the immigration office here in Tanzania to get insight onto how to do that process. I recommend that 100%, not necessarily going through a private agency or a private entity, even an attorney, right? Because the services at the immigration office are free to tourists and they are gonna be the ones processing your application so they can give you the best advice, the best insight and the legal way to do so without getting a bunch of hearsay from individual people that do it. Now, while for people that are expanding their business to Tanzania, I absolutely recommend working with a business attorney, an investment attorney, 
You can also cross-reference with the immigration office just to do your due diligence, right? But if you're working with attorney, look for their footprints, right? Look for their online footprint, look for their LinkedIn, look for, you know, different um, recommendations or get some feedback to make sure that this is a reputable professional that you're engaging in with business. But that's for business. If you have an interest in expanding your business or starting a business in Tanzania, I'd love to work with you. You can connect with me via the link below. But for travelers, go ahead and come. Get your $100, get your travel visa and experience Tanzania. And if you have certain questions on where to stay, where to travel, different tour guides, I'd love to also help you on that journey. You can access my personal travel guides to Arusha, Dar es Salaam, Moshi, Marangu, Zanzibar via the travel itineraries that I've established and created just for you. They're super affordable about anywhere from 20 to $30, 19 to $29 on ashleyandafrica.com. They come with Google links so you can figure out exactly where they are, get the phone numbers. And then if you have an interest in moving abroad, there are some expat bonuses that include rental agents, personal drivers, um, and all of the likes, right? Just resources to help you on your journey. So I hope that was helpful. Please be sure to like, this content, share it with someone that would find value in it as well. And until the next video, I'll see you soon.